Hello everybody, NASCAR Fan 19 back here with something a little new to this channel. Today we're playing GeoGuessr. If you've never played GeoGuessr before, basically you choose a level, it can be somewhere in the world, it can be in a certain country. Basically, they put you on a Google map and you have to figure out where you are in the world. And it's a lot more difficult than you think. And basically we're gonna it puts you on a place and you can navigate through the streets and maybe get uh, an idea of where you are. You just kind of observe the environment, maybe find some signs, stuff like that. And from there, you try to guess where you are, and then from then it will tell you how far away you were from your guess. And you're trying to pick the location from where you were originally placed. So we're going to do that now, and we are going to probably play full world. All right. I think, yeah, it's just going to take us right into the world. So let's see what we got right now. Okay, so this looks like we're in a desert area. Um, a little trashy. Let's move up the street and see what is that. This could be... Trying to figure out is this a, I'm I'm thinking America to start, but this could be a completely different continent. Just trying to observe the vehicles that we have here. Alright, who is this guy? Um okay that doesn't look American. For all I know we could be in Africa. <laughs> going really slowly. I'm not sure why. Oh, geez. This was a lot faster when I tried that out the first time. I mean, we were in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how we're going to actually figure out where we are. Like, I, I'm not sure what to do. Should I go with America, or should I go with Africa? I feel like Africa would be a lot more populated. That it's a weird. Is this a what kind of lame? Is this? That's an, that's that's the American way of passing. Ah, uh, man, that's so slow. This is ridiculous. Like the frame of the picture isn't even moving. So I'm thinking maybe since we're not anywhere close to society and it could take a while before we do find some more, I'm going to guess we're somewhere in this desert. We're in a very remote place. I'm thinking that we are somewhere in New Mexico. Let's take that guess and see where we are. That's in South America. That's in Brazil. Holy cow. That was... <laughs> that is my worst guess so far. <laughs> and I did it in the first round of my first video. Okay, so now we are here. Boy, this is not a very good location either. Let's observe this house. Okay, so I don't think this would be an American... Normally don't see those kind of bus stops. It's kind of a dirty place. Hmm. This doesn't help me much. I'm just seeing bus stop. Long street. It's down there. It's kind of campground or something. No idea. Uh um there's another place. There's no mailbox on the street, at least. Okay, I think I was going this direction. Was I going this direction, or did I just make a U-turn? Okay, yeah, that's definitely not an American sign. Let's go back. Uh, well, now it's blurry. But it said Asva. Asva. Okay, I don't know where that is. What is this sign? 
Oof, jeez. I don't know what that is either. I'm thinking maybe this is a European type of... You did not see that. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's it, like bongos or something. Why are these blurred out? Like these weren't blurred. Okay, what is that language? It's very complicated. Let's zoom in on this. It's very obscure. But I'm thinking we're in Europe right here. Turn around again, and can we get a bearing on that sign? No, that's also blurred out, which is weird because I have not seen any real blurred out signs yet. Oh, okay, um, it's a nice little cottage right here. Turn around, dude on a bike. Okay, let me, I'm going to put it down to Europe. Don't think it's Norway or Sweden or whatever that country that's blocked by it. <laughs> Great boxes. Decrease that. If I can find somewhere with a city or an intersection or something. Uh, man, this is not helping. Um, oh, wait. It's right here. And that's blurred out. That doesn't help. Okay. Uh, what does this say? That is also blurred out. Man. I'm not picking up the country on this. It's very very different language so i think we're gonna have to take a guess on this i'm not having any good ideas i'm just kind of thinking that central that central part of europe central or northeastern i'm not sure i don't think that's ukrainian not Armenian, not greece not turkey Definitely not this area of the west side. Don't think it's German either. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slap it down in the middle of Slovakia. I have no idea because I just can't understand which language that is. But let's see where we are. Okay, it was in Lithuania. Can't talk. Lithuania. So we did get a decent amount of points from that. We were 458 miles off. That's better than trying to guess something in the United States and being in Brazil. So, <laughs> okay, this is, okay, automatically we're moving to Asia. Wait, is that Asian? I think, I think that's like, that could be Taiwan or that area, Thailand or whatever. I don't think that's not like Arabian or something. Just trying to diagnose the signs. Don't think that this is what that area would look like. It's very tropical in that sense. Left side driving, apparently. But obviously, I can't diagnose the languages. So, it's just kind of our best guess. Kind of country would be in this modernized but I'm thinking we're in this area like it, for, for all I, for all I know it looks kind of like that's the kind of language it looks like from someone from like Mongolia But then again, it also looks kind of Thai Thailandish. Like it's 
very difficult to determine. Uh, I'm kind of stuck between those two countries. That's what I'm thinking right now. And I think I'm going to place my bets on Mongolia. Then again, Thailand is a small country, and it could, if it ends up being Thailand, it'd be a much smaller radius to the point. So let's put our guess in Thailand and see where we end up. Wow, look at that. It was Taiwan. It was like right outside of this area. Like, I can't zoom out. But that's the, I think that's the border to China. And right there, that's 34 miles. Holy cow, that was a, such a good round for a total guess. Okay, this looks American. But it also looks very obscure. And that's not a good thing. I can't go down that road, and the picture is so blurry. The, the pictures are in other countries are better. Like, I'm not going to get anything out of this. Like, I can take a guess based on the landscape, but this isn't going to work out very well. Okay, so we got rolling hills. Where would I find those kind of trees? Thinking kind of the, like I don't see any mountains. Let's take that into account. So it can't really be the west area. Somewhere that kind of rolls around. There's a few spots that that could actually be. So rolling, rolling hills. Like how far do the Rockies go? Like the, it's the eastern part of Wyoming, maybe not rock, maybe they don't have parts of Rocky Mountain, that could be it. Because it's not going to be this area. Ooh, sorry. I'm tired, it's 10.30. <laughs> I haven't slept well. Could be Montana. That's a possibility. And then possibly, like, these obscure parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. I'm thinking, since we're, once again, an obscure place... I'm not having much luck with this this game, and I was having much more luck then. But let's go and put it in Montana. Let's put it down a little more. I'm gonna put it more toward the border of Wyoming. I just want to see if maybe that's the spot that we're in. Okay, we are in Minnesota. Okay. Well, not that close. At least we got the country right again. All right, okay, this is interesting. This could be a, yikes. Okay, what was that song? Go back one. Okay, that's the American song. So we're in the Americas. Now we gotta figure out where are you gonna find like sand dunes? Like I'm thinking Nevada. That's my first, like, that's my go-to. Like, I know that this is going to be somewhere in the West. I don't think, I, California might have these. Like, the eastern parts, the obscure parts. Not right next to the coast. Because the coast, they might, like, they, like, around Hollywood, they might have them, but they're more, like, grassy. Guardrail. This isn't it's not the Badlands either. Yeah, this is not helping. We're not getting anywhere closer to society. All I'm just seeing is a bunch of random signs just like, oh watch out. Well, you know, in a secure area. We can might as well watch out. I haven't even seen one other car. Like where the heck does this Google map think he's thinks he's going? he has no idea. Okay, so obviously we're not going to get anywhere close to society that we can get a better idea where we are. So let's put our bet on... Uh, is that 
is it showing me elevation or not? Not really. That's kind of showing me national forests. But I want to say this is Nevada, like away from the city. Like I'm thinking right there. Just as a general area. So I Utah might have some, but I don't think it's that rocky. I think it's just kind of mountainous. Colorado is too cold for this area. This is more barren. Let's take the guess and see where we are. Why do I keep assuming that's in the United States? I, well, it was the signs that threw me off. But where is the, this? is in Chile. Holy cow. Dang. God dang it. Alrighty, well, we majorly failed on that. Let's look at our summary. That's like we did good here. We did decent here. A little less decent here. And then here's our two gigantic errors. Where apparently Americas look like Brazil and Chile. So this was a very poor round for me compared to the ones I've had. But we're gonna see what we can do in a different round. Make sure to check out that video when it comes out, because I'm going to post it at a later time. Leave this alone. But thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed watching this game of GeoGuessr, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Let me know what other kind of games you want to see me play. I can play more uh, Guesser, um, more Minecraft, more classic games. You decide. Let me know what you want to see. And until then, thank you all for watching, and peace!